Look what we got in the shop today. Some Art Deco farm equipment. Let's clean it up. <laughs> Hello my friends and welcome to Tom's Tinkering and Adventures. Today we're going to work on some a uh, little bit of lawn art for my sister. She uh, picked up these, I think these are from an old uh, antique plow, plow discs I believe, <coughs> off of our parents farm last summer. And uh, the idea was she was going to try to clean them up and paint them to look like a flower. And that's a pretty good idea I think. You could paint the uh, this flat attachment bar here green and then paint that yellow and black or something but uh, first thing we got to do is get them cleaned up and uh, these old bolts are pretty well frozen on here so she wants to try to get those off and uh, I have already soaked these down uh, what I used on those is a 50 50 mixture of acetone and automatic transmission fluid I don't know if that's going to work good or not. I've used it in the past. It does pretty good. So what we'll try to do is we'll throw it, this one up in the vise here. You got old flat head or square, not flat head, square bolt, square nut. So we'll throw that one up in the vise and we'll try it. And if that doesn't come off, then we'll hit it with some heat. So let me get set up and we'll see what happens. Okay, we'll try to start with this one here instead. I know that she wanted to get rid of these mount pieces. We're going to use them after all. It's said and done, so let's see. Well, the bolt is probably going to break, it looks like, on this one. The bolt is turning. Oh, actually, it's coming loose. The bolt twisted a bit, but this one actually came loose. Or it's coming loose. It appears to be. Nice big adjustable wrench here. Plenty of uh, leverage. Wow. I can't believe that came off. I, that bolt looked like it was going to snap. So, so far so good. Let me uh, switch you over and uh, we'll mount the, the disc side here and see if we can get that one loose. I was just noticing the horse head in the back. <laughs> it goes good with this uh, old farm equipment theme. All right, let's see about this one here. Well, let me just uh, round it off that end there. Let's try that in a different position and see what happens. And uh, who knows, I might have to just grind this off and punch it out. That's all that it's gonna do. It's pretty well mangled at this point. These are probably cast iron here, so I try to be very careful with them, but let's see what happens. Oh, it's just gonna break again. Okay, so that one doesn't appear to wanna cooperate. We'll set it aside, think about it. Like I said, we might put some heat on it. But uh, I'll see if I have any luck on the other one. All right, this one's actually coming loose. I worked it back and forth a few times and it looked like the bolt was gonna snap, but I think we're gonna get this one off. Oh, right in your face on the camera. There we go. How much you wanna bet that thing is hot? Eh, it's pretty warm. And it's full of rust. I don't know what's supposed to be in there, but it looks like there should be something in there. All right, we got them all taken apart here. I think I'm gonna to try to see if my buddy will let me use a sandblaster. And this one, that bolt broke off in there. But I think I'm just gonna cut that off right here and then we'll just use the next hole. And then we'll replace all the hardware with new hardware just because it'll be easier. So let me see if I can get a hold of my buddy if I can sandblast these. Okay, I sandblasted them, but uh, 
the metal was so pitted that it didn't really do a whole lot, but it removed a lot of the scale and stuff. So we're going to go with that. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, pits in this metal. And then for, for these, I think I'm going to try to talk my sister into just buying some flat bar stock, and I'll cut them and drill some holes in them to mown on here. Really only needs one hole in each of them. So we'll go with that. It's uh, late at night. So we will get back to this tomorrow. Okay, here's where we're at. I picked up some new bolts, washers, nuts. I picked up a chunk of this flat iron here that we can use to make, uh, replace the old rusty and uh, broken and um, different original ones. So we'll try to make, cut this in half and we'll make two close enough to identical ones. Now our next issue after that, of course we'll drill a hole in it to mount the uh, little disc flower looking thing here. But um, as you can see, there's a square hole here in this bolt. Obviously it's gonna be kind of like a, let's see, what do you say? Hot dog in a hallway. So, when I removed one of these, you could kind of see there's a little bit of uh, something left on there. And I don't know what they used as a bushing in here, but what I am going to use is a piece of wood. So I'm gonna cut a piece of wood to this dimension and then tap it in there, drill a hole to it. And that will be good enough as a bushing for this since it's not gonna be utilized. And that might be what they used originally. They used uh, wood for a lot of bushings on old farm equipment. So let me see what I can come up with that for that. We'll cut this in half and get these prepped and then uh, time to put some paint on all this stuff. Well, that ought to do it right there. I'll drill a hole in the center of these. I cut that all out with my little scroll saw here out of a little chunk of a two by four. So now we'll just clean all this up. I still gotta cut this one in half and drill the holes and bend that. Now we'll be ready for some paint. There you go. Now, if uh, my sister runs into any intruders or anything, she can take care of that as well. So that's just to uh, plant it into the ground, really. But I guess you could plant it into a vampire's heart, but it's not a wooden stake. Well, we've got the uh, paint booth going outside here. I already painted the other side of these. We'll put a couple coats on uh, this side as well. I think I did three on the other side. And there's the center of these parts here. I decided I'll paint the center first because we can mask that off easier than if we painted the whole thing. You'd have to mask off a lot bigger area. At least that's my thought pattern on it. So this is the uh, second side of these already as well. Painted the underneath. These are the washers. I don't know if I had to paint those or not, but painting them anyway. I was having a little bit of uh, difficulty masking this off, so I decided I would just find a uh, little storage container, what I use to put nuts and bolts and stuff on in when I'm working in my garage, and just place that over the center and just paint around it. And uh, there's your before shot. And uh, there's your after. So it turned out okay. Uh, not a super crisp line, but it's still just fine. So I've done one side on each of these. This has got two coats. That's got one coat. And I'll flip it over and I'll do the other side. And then uh, we'll put it all together and see how they look. But so far, I'm really liking it. Okay, here's our bits and pieces. I'm going to be down on the ground here. We'll see if we can assemble it, see what it looks like. there. I'll show you the wood block inside of there. I probably should um, paint 
take the end of this green, or I should have just not painted it. Now it's turning, so I have to get a wrench and hold that there. Oh, I can hold it like this with my hand. And that's just turning a little tightly on the back because of the paint. And I bought additional nuts so that we can uh, either tighten this all the way down and it won't turn or I can double nut this thing, double nut, and uh, leave a little bit of space so that it can spin if my sister wants it that way. Let's put the other nut on here for now. And get you in the frame. There you go. I'll put the other one together. We'll um, put them outside here, see how they look. As usual, my sister is full of good ideas. She saw these on the farm last summer and uh, drug them home to Colorado. Then she brought them out here to me and look at them. They look amazing. I don't know what color I would have went with, but uh, that's great. They're, they're daisies, she said. Now I'm uh, kind of wishing that I had taken them for myself. God darn it. <laughs> they look good. Nice little project. Maybe paint the back of this green a little bit, but yeah, that's a almost a non-issue. They look great. All right, back into the garage. The sunlight is killing me here. Like I said, my sister knocks it out of the park again. Boy, she knows she knows a good thing when she sees it. She uh, picked those up and made me turn them into something nice. I'm sure she would have done a great job on it herself. But what kind of brother would I be if I didn't pick on her a little bit? All right. Well, if you're digging what I'm putting out, give me a thumbs up. Please leave a comment down below. And if you're not already a subscriber, please consider doing so. Thank you very much for watching. Get out there and find your adventure. Adios.